what's the next move because truly i want to know what's good cousins and welcome on today's episode how are you guys doing i hope you all are doing great and if you are joining here for the very first time hi where have you been thank you so much for tuning in please don't make it your last time so make sure you smash the subscribe button before you go and turn your bell notification on so this lady posted a video on TikTok that has been going viral and a lot of people are so glad that she posted it because it's 2024. We don't even expect this should still be a conversation that we will be having. And the fact that this always happens every maybe once a month or even once in two months is crazy because it seems that they are not even learning their lesson. This lady said she was in Boston and then she visited Sephora and what she walked into in Sephora has got a lot of people talking. And without wasting much time, let me just roll the clip. It's a 20 seconds video. Let me just roll the clip and let's see what these teenagers are doing in Sephora. No. No, I walked through the Like, this lady has no shame. Like, literally. This is so wild. <laughs> this is so shameful. This is so shameful. Like, <laughs> those are 16 years old teenage girls literally using the darkest shade of product in Sephora and making animal noises. Now, some people were saying that they were they are small and stuff, but they are not small because if they can put on a black face and start making animal noises they already know what they are trying to do the mother was there as well making videos maybe she wants to send the video to family members and she later went to meet the lady that was you know recording that she deletes the video if your kids are 16 years old putting on black face in public and you as a mother you're there literally recording them then that tells us who you are as a person that you can as well do the same this video is getting a lot of people pissed because if your girls are old enough to be in sephora a lot of people believe they should be old enough to know not to do a black face i am going to roll the clip of what the people have to say about this clip that has been circulating the media because a lot of people are even more mad than the mother for encouraging their kids to be doing that in public the mother seems not to care and all she did in that video was just walking away without wasting much time let's get right into what the people have to say about these teenage girls and their mother as well there is a subset of white parents who do not talk to their children about race or racism because they feel their children are too young to deal with such a topic however what's interesting about that is their black and brown peers do not have the luxury of being too young to deal with and experience racism often at the hands of these children whose parents refuse to talk about racism with them, teach them about race, teach them about anti-racism, and down the line, you get this, this girl, young girl right here in Sephora. However, I don't want to talk about the young girl in this video. I want to talk her about her mother right here. I will tag the creator in the caption so you can go to her page and see the full video. However, this employee sees this girl doing blackface with two of her other friends, confronts her about it. Her mother comes over and instead of her mother to chastise her daughter, apologize for her behavior, what she does instead is walk away from this employee completely dismissing her as this employee is, is telling her how wrong it is, how offensive blackface is, and that's exactly what her daughter is doing. Before she walks off though, this employee also confronts the mother about taking photos of this because the mother thought this was funny. The mother thought blackface was hilarious. Looking at this girl, she appears to be between 11 and 16 years old and her mother's behavior tells me everything I need to know about the discussions of race and racism that have happened in that household. The fact that she was trying to take a picture of this thinking it was hilarious instead of being embarrassed by it and chastising, chastising her daughter and her friends also tells me everything we need to know about this woman. And when the internet does its thing and tracks these two down, I do not want to hear about how this has negatively impacted her life and they're good people and they would never be racist. This type of behavior is learned at home, reinforced at home, and white parents start talking to your children about race, start talking to them about racism and start doing it when they're young. So 10 years later, 15 years later, they're not walking around in a Sephora putting on blackface and you are standing by them trying to take pictures because you think it's funny. This is in part what gags me about this particular case as it pertains to people's compulsive, deep-seated, pathological need to just be racist. There is no critical thinking happening, no long-term thinking, no thinking happening at all. You just need to act on this urge 
to be a racist. So you would do something so stupid as to put makeup tester on your face. Tester directly on your face. I have never once in my life put a makeup tester on my face, ever. I do my research, figure out the shade that works for me and buy it. And if it doesn't work, I either return it or give it to somebody else that I know can use this product. Just recently, I bought a Charlotte Tilbury contour that is a little too light to be contour, so I'm going to use it for something else. Two to three days from now, when, when the acne starts springing up and, and the pink eye comes to fruition, will it have been worth it? And not only that, but this vendor, this woman, by the way, who confronted the mother and her daughter, she is not a Sephora employee. She is a vendor contract to be working in the store. Something else that she said that I don't think people are touching on is the future impacts this will have on this girl. It is 2024. The internet is forever. When they expose this girl and put her name out there, years from now when she wants to apply to college universities, they will Google her and this will come up. Five minutes of virulent racism, stupid racism, five minutes of it can have the ability to impact your life days, weeks, months, years later. How many times have we seen and heard of over the past few years, college acceptances being rescinded when racist behavior comes to the forefront? As a parent, it is your responsibility to set your children up for success in this world. This girl has clearly been failed by her mother and I hope the acne that she will experience along with the pink eye two to three days from now and the possibly future repercussions down the line, I hope it was worth it. I really do. <laughs> this was in Sephora at the Prudence Center in Boston, Massachusetts. These three teenage girls were black facing in public and going around the store making monkey noises. Every time I do one of these videos calling out somebody doing blackface, I always have people from outside the country who do not understand the depth as to why blackface is so harmful. So I tried to explain. That is extremely racist in this country. I'd recommend reading up on minstrel shows. It's a very shameful thing this country did. To degrade and dehumanize black people. As you know, I do not identify children. But the mom who is encouraging all of this, I want to know who she is. Quick shout out to this woman here for standing up for what is right. She's a real one. Because even when the mom tried to play it off and make an excuse, she called her out and said, no, you were trying to take a photo of it. You were absolutely encouraging it. Good on you. By the way, she does not work at Sephora. She's one of those you know, vendors there selling other products. So you don't need to thank Sephora for that. Plus, I'll be honest, I played a lot of video games when I was younger, so whenever I see Sephora, all I think is... Boston, Massachusetts. Help me locate the name of this woman. What was the reason? What was the purpose of them doing this to their face? They know that what they did is completely wrong. I mean, just look at this face right here. And then at the end of the video, they noticed that they were still being recorded with all of that on their face. So they know that the repercussions are coming. They know the consequences of their actions, and yet they still decided to do it anyways because they probably thought it was going to fly. They thought that nobody was going to care or call them out on this. And you know what? They found the right one on the right day. And in my opinion, not only did the mother teach this behavior to these young girls, she also encourages it. Because when this employee over here, I don't know if she works for Sephora or for one of the brands there, came up to her and said, I'm walking over to you guys because you're going to take a picture of this, she did not want to hear it and walked away el descaro apparently and allegedly there's a reddit page that is discussing this exact same video here and according to that reddit page these girls not only just put on blackface but they were also making monkey noises that digital footprint is real and they are about to find out was able to find the original video and yeah they were making animal noises since my first video got deleted genuinely so disgusted and disturbed my teammates and i arrived in boston for a track meet this weekend and walked around sephora before dinner to kill time these group of teenage girls and their mothers came in and go to the makeup section to use the samples for blackface while giggling and making animal noises the sephora worker lady in black confronted them and the mother dismisses her and walks off after i stopped filming both the mothers came to press me to delete the video of their blatant racism because they didn't consent the Caucasity will never cease to amaze me because they feel so bold and feel so comfortable in going into Sephora and putting on a black face, but then draw the line at having somebody else film them being blatantly racist and say that they didn't consent to being filmed. Hazme el favor. I am not surprised that that happened. I'm from Boston, Massachusetts, born and raised. Um, Boston is a very racist city. 
people be like, oh, it was so funny because like when I talk to other people from like if I go if I travel out of state and I tell people from Boston, the first thing saying they got black people in Boston. Yeah, a lot of people don't even know there's black people here, but Boston is a very racist city. I'm not surprised that happened. I'm just really surprised they were so open about it because a lot of them are racist, but it's like undercover racism here. But baby girl, I'm just gonna say you just ruined your life, your mom's life because they they will find you. One thing about the internet, they will find you. I've been docs, and I ain't never did no shit like that. I made a post about child support, and they, and they was looking for me and put all my information on Reddit. But you doing blackface, girl, they're going to find you. Girl, your mom might lose her job. And shame on the mom for not... You're, you're old enough to know about blackface, but baby, <laughs> I'm going to tell you a story. When I was back in college, when I was at Cambridge College, there was a girl who made a tweet about a bomber and called him the N-word and a monkey. They found that tweet. She got kicked out of school. To this day, like it was hard for her to find a job. I'm not even sure she was able to find a job. But every time you type her name in, that tweet followed it. So now, your legacy now is when people type your name that video of you being in blackface is going to show up. That is the reputation that you just left for your history, for your mom, for you. Your mom might lose her job. Like, girl, you just open up a can of worms. And you should know better. Y'all should know fucking better. You look like you're like 13 or 14. Y'all should definitely know better. What do you guys think about that video? And what do you think about the things that these people had to say to that video? I would like to hear your thoughts in the comment section. I came across a video one time like that, that the person said as a black person, the only ally we have that is going to stand the test of time is the internet. Like, it is the internet. Imagine there is no internet. Imagine this lady, there's nothing to film, there's nowhere to post to be able to identify these people. Imagine the things that they will continue to do because they are not being stopped in a very hard way. It's not like this mother does not know about racism. It's not like she does not know what blackface is, but she was right there encouraging the kids and even you know filming and snapping pictures and even when the girl confronted her she basically just dismissed her and after the lady filmed that video she went back to the lady to delete the video because she did not consent to it like the audacity to even go back to that lady to say she should delete the video because she did not consent to it the audacity is really really shocking i would like to hear your thought because this few minutes video can literally turn their life in a very bad way the mother might get sacked they might even look for the father there are comments like people saying look for the father look for the mother since they are encouraging their kids to be doing this imagine the the repercussion of this on the life of these kids in the future it's just so annoying that just the hold of you being very you know mean and racist will come to you and you hacked on that hodge and literally just destroy your life this comment says i worked at sephora for years the darkest shade of any foundation tester was always the messiest because kids and teens were always playing with it who is even putting a tester on their face i feel like this is a very good conversation to have tester that is being used by lots of people and then you have the the mind to even put it on your face why are you trying to even ruin your skin to begin with another person said and blackface was the goal the line around her face is perfect she knew exactly what she was doing the lack of care on mom's face is disgusting they knew what they were doing like they, they sure know what they are doing because if they don't know what they are doing they will not be making monkey noises after putting that thing on their face they sure know what they are doing and even maybe when their mother told them they were going to sephora they had already started planning the things that they are doing because how will you tell me they don't know what they are doing but then they put a black face on and they started making animal noises like how do they know that those two things are matter at this point how do they know do you know how many times i have been in sephora and overheard non-black girls point to a dark foundation and say i couldn't imagine being this color nobody even wants you guys to be the color you guys probably have been poisoned by sun so 
don't come to the side of black people at all. Another person said, she gets no pass. Her actions were deliberate, which I totally agree to. Who put a tester on their entire face? You patch tests. And that is what I will say. Like, why are you putting it on your face? You could literally ruin your skin and have to treat that for months. Why are you putting the tester on your face when you know a lot of people are going to come in contact with it? The last one I have here says, go for the dad. That their financial income go after him and make sure his job know what activities his family partaking after work. Just a few second video. A few second stupid video is about to change the story of a family. A few seconds video is about to literally go make their family go down the train. Like almost like they don't think. It's even so exasperating that their mother is there and she was encouraging it like why are you letting your kids do this? It just shows us how the conversation of racism is in their family and how they probably treat black people or how they even treat any person of color they come in contact with. If their mother find that okay to be doing and even snapping that, then it just exposed their family. I would like to hear you guys thought about this one in the comment section. Thank you all so much for joining. And if you have not subscribed, please subscribe before you go and turn your bell notification on. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. And I love you guys.